Good morning. Welcome to the Blue Fiber Tree. It's Janine and I need to redo the rigid huddle hem stitch. There was a mistake in the previous video. I will leave it up. I'll just make this a revision to the other one because there was some really good information in there. And I'm going to show you how to do this the correct way. There was a very crucial step left out. Now I am at the end of my project. I did the hem stitch at the beginning and now I need to do it at the end. So I've got everything set up and because of the type of hem stitch that I do, which is a two by two instead of a four by four, I need a little more yarn than necessary. So I actually have five widths of my yarn here ready to go. So that's the width of the scarf. I like using these bent needles as a tapestry needle to do this because it allows me to get in and do what I need to do. All right, so I'm all set, ready to go here. So I'm at the end. And I have turned this around so I can work right to left. So this would be the exact same direction I would work if I was doing the beginning. I'm going to take my yarn and I'm going to go around this one here, down, let me get my hands out of the way, to lock that in just because of how it ended. All right, now I'm gonna go up and around two warp threads, and then I'm gonna do it a second time. I'm gonna go around, but when I come around the second time, I need to go up two weft threads. Can you see that? One, two, and come up and pull that through like that. And then I'm gonna go back around those same two first warps, but I need to have this loop here so that I can go through the loop. You need to go through that loop so you can pull it tight and then you're gonna pull it up. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna go down where you ended, come up two warp threads, pull that through, go back down in that same space and go up two weft threads and pull that through. Then you want to come back down and leave this loop here. Go back under those same two warp threads. Catch that loop, pull it through, and snug it up. Okay, so again, go around the next two. Don't catch the loop. So pull that through. Go back into that same space, go up two weft threads, pull that tight, and then make sure you give yourself a loop. Go back down into that same, pull it through, and snug it up. Now you would do this all the way across your work until you got to the other side, got to the end, and then just do an extra wrap around and create yourself a knot, cut your yarn from this weaving yarn that you're doing the hem stitch with, and then you would cut your project off and you're ready to go. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And this is gonna give you a very secure knot at the beginning and the end this hem stitch works very well for placemats, tea towels, even scarves if you want to have a shorter fringe and stuff so you don't have to mess with all those overhand knots. You guys have a wonderful day. And yeah, like I said, any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thank you. Bye.